usually uh, an east facing window or for something a little bit stronger, east facing like for your phalaenopsis or papillopetalums, that's perfectly good. If the sun's still a little bit intense, depending on the angle of, of where it's coming in, if you have some gauzy curtains or something that in the middle of the day when the sun's really strong, you might want to either move the plants back a little bit or have some gauzy curtains. A south facing window, again, where that's a little bit more intense, um, even a western window, but those are probably going to be where you want to have some gauzy curtains or something that breaks a little bit of that strong sun in the middle of the, of the afternoon. Or you're going to want to have some, some of the higher light, and I'm trying to think who's a high light, like this guy, somebody that, or a catley or something like that. Those can go in those, that, a western window where there's a little bit stronger light. Or of course always under fluorescent lights if you have a light cart. Um, or even a plant light, the, the incandescent bulbs that's a plant light, but be careful with those because those get really warm and so you don't want them too close to your plants because they'll, they'll roast the plant pretty quick because those get pretty hot. Um, but, you know, basically you're looking for bright light, but usually not direct midday sun. That's going to be, that's going to be a little bit too much for most orchids, but bright light, gauzy curtain filled light, sitting in a window, certainly under plant lights like fluorescent lights and things like that if you, you know, get a little cart or something or even just a little standalone. Um, that's pretty much it for light.